time for another declutter. Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer and if you're new here, I welcome you to give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Today I am going to declutter and sort through my concealers. I obviously have way too many and some of them don't work and some of them do work, sort of. You know my angst with concealers, but we're gonna go ahead and do this and hopefully I can downsize some of this because my drawers are way too overflowing. So let's get started. First up, I have this Clinique concealer. This is called the Even Better All Over Concealer. Mine is in the shade CN18 Cream Whip. I love all Clinique products, so this is something I am going to save and continue to work with. So I'm gonna put that on the keep side. I'm doing it a little bit different today. I'm gonna to put keeps over here and I'm gonna put declutters on this side. I didn't bring my bins out because they're full. So we're just gonna do it this way. So hopefully I don't make a mistake here. So keeps over here. This concealer is by Makeup Forever. This is the Ultra HD. I'm gonna keep this as well just because I love the foundation so much and I think it's a good pairing. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. Mine is in the shade 25, but I think this is a keeper. And then I have the Makeup by Mario concealers. I have two of these, let me find the other one. So here they both are. These are self-setting concealers. I have two shades, obviously. One is in the shade 120 and the other is in the shade 160. I am actually going to declutter these. I have practiced with these numerous times. These are self-setting concealers. I love Makeup by Mario's makeup line, but these just do not work for me. I don't know if they dry down too fast or what the deal is, but they're just, just not doing it for me. So I am going to declutter these. Next up, I have the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. This is a serum corrector. Mine is in the shade C2 Light. I am also gonna go ahead and keep this one. I love the L'Oreal True Match line of products. I think they're all very good, especially for being drugstore. And lately I've been finding that drugstore products are outdoing my high-end products. So this is a keep. This concealer is by Milani. This is Milani's Correct, excuse me. This is Milani's Conceal and Correct. This I am going to declutter. I just didn't think this worked for me. This is in the shade 100 Pure Ivory. And I just think that this is not doing what it should. It's not doing as good as it could be. And it's much too light for me. I do also have correctors in this pile that I'm sorting through. Through. And this corrector here by Essence, it's called the Essence Bright Eyes Under Eye Stick. It says it has a brightening effect and caring. I, however, do not like this product at all. Um, I don't like the shade of it. It's pink. Not that I don't like pink products, but this really does nothing to me. It's very, very translucent. I don't like the feel of it on my skin. To me, it's greasy. So I'm going to let this one go as well. And then I have this concealer here by Flower Beauty. This is in the shade Ivory. This is a serum concealer. I really enjoy this concealer. I think this goes on nice and smooth. It's super hydrating. So this one I am going to be keeping. And then I put it on the wrong side. Over here it goes. Next up I have the concealer by Ulta Beauty. I'm gonna be keeping this as well. This is in the shade Light Cool Pale. I enjoy most of Ulta Brand's products. This one I'm gonna be keeping as well. This is the True Skin Concealer by Catrice. Mine is in the shade Cool Cashmere. I'm gonna be declaring this. This is really dry under my eyes. It doesn't do me any favors, so this is going to go away. Here I have a concealer by Laura Mercier. This is in the shade 1C1. This is called the Real Flawless Concealer. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one as well. I enjoy this one. I did have difficulties with it in the winter time, but as the summer has progressed, it's working more and more for me. So this is a keep. Next up, I have the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. This concealer here is much too dark for my skin, so I'm going to be declaring this. This one is in the shade light. However, I do not understand why they named it light because it is much too dark for me. So this one is going to be decluttered as well. This is a concealer that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. This is much too orange, just like the foundation was. So this too I'm going to declutter. And this concealer is by e.l.f. This concealer I think is a fairly good concealer. Mine is in the shade Fair Rose. This is a very hydrating concealer, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. This is another corrector. This is my corrector by Huda Beauty you know that I love the cherry blossom one. This is in the shade pink pomelo. It's a little bit peachy for me, but I'm still going to keep it because it works so well. This concealer is by It Cosmetics. It's the Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. This is in the shade 10.5 Light. 
I do not like this concealer at all. It's way too drying under my eyes and just way too thick of a product. So I am going to let my daughter have at this one. This concealer is by Rare Beauty. This is in the shade 160C. I'm going to be holding on to this one because I think this is a really, really nice concealer as well. And I forget that I have this, so I need to put this on top of my stash so I pull this out and use this more. These are my High Glam Concealers by Natasha Denona. As you can see, I have two shades of these, RN1 and R2. I'm going to be holding on to these and I'm going to just put this out there. It's not that I think that these are so great because I actually really have troubles with these and I know that less is more, but I really just want to play with these a little bit more before I decide to declutter. So these will go into my next round of declutter videos and we will take it from there. So these are a keep for now. I have three of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind concealers and correctors. I am absolutely decluttering these. My daughter loves these. I used to love these. They used to work perfectly for me and now they are a cakey mess. So these are going away. This is the Cali Ray Hideaway concealer. I love this concealer. Mine is in the shade Dawn. This is fairly new to me. This is very hydrating. I really like the way that it lays under my eyes. So I am definitely keeping this. And again, for a keeper, the Lancome Tanti Doll concealer. This is an absolutely wonderful concealer. I really enjoy this. I'm not quite sure what the shade is, but it is a cool shade. I can see that there's a C on it. So this is definitely a keep. And then I have my Tower 28 concealer. This concealer is in the shade, I think they call it B as in boy, U. I love Tower 28 concealer. So this I am definitely holding on to as well. Here I have two concealers by Tarte. One is the Shape Tape. The other is the Creaseless Concealer. I'm not a fan of either one of these. So these are, I'm both decluttering. I just think that these are way too thick and they just don't do anything for my under eyes. So these are going to be decluttered as well. This is the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Concealer. This is a 30 hour concealer. So they say mine is in the shade 10. I love this concealer. This is a really, really good drugstore concealer. So this is going to be a keep. This is a Givenchy concealer. Mine is in the shade C105. I don't know that I love this, love this, but I'm going to keep it anyway, just because it's extremely expensive and I just don't feel like getting rid of it right now. I want to play with this a little bit bit more before I decide. This is going to be like one of those Natasha Denona concealers. We'll see later what I decide to do with it. This is the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. They call it the Eye Cream in a Concealer Concealer. Mine is in the shade C1-2 Fair. The only thing I really don't like about this is it has a, it's a squeeze tube instead of a doe foot applicator, but it is a very nice concealer. So yes, I'm going to go ahead and keep this as well. This is a concealer sampled from NARS. This is in the shade Chantilly. This is very drying under my eyes so this is going to go away. I just am not a fan. I want to love NARS so much but I just don't. This is a corrector by Milani. It's an under eye brightener. It's in the shade Rose. This is different to me than the other concealer. This actually has a very nice thin coverage and it has a thin serum-y texture and I really really enjoy this so this I'm going to hold on to for a while. This is the Liquid Camouflage Concealer by Catrice. It's a high coverage concealer. I am going to declutter this. I'm just not a fan of it, so there's no sense for me to hold on to it. My daughter can get some use out of it. This is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Glow Concealer. I am going to hold on to this as well. I'm really a fan of the Sephora Collection brand. Most of their products I've had are really, really good. Not all of them, but most of them. So this too is a keep. This is a yellow corrector. This is by Maybelline. This is a Maybelline Cover Stick Corrector Concealer. It's a yellow concealer and I used to use it all the time for my under eyes to disguise some of the discoloration. This does not work for me anymore either. It's just turned into a mess. So I am going to declutter this. This is my Color Corrector Duo by Sigma. I am definitely holding on to these. I absolutely love these. These are absolutely fantastic. These are definite keep. This is the Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer Healthy Skin. It's got peptides and antioxidants. Mine is in the shade Ivory. I am going to declutter this. This really didn't do much for me. I just, eh, not so much a fan. This is also by Neutrogena. This is a Hydro Boost Hydrating Concealer with Hyaluronic Acid. It's two tones. It's got some kind of hydrating factor in the center of it. It's a moisturizer built in. I'm going to hold on to this one. I really enjoyed this one. Mine is in the shade Light Medium. This is a concealer by House Labs. This is in the shade Fair Rosy. I'm going to also hold on to this one because I'm going to try it again with the foundation that I'm on the fence with. I'm just not sure about it so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one as well. This is another concealer by Ulta Beauty. Mine is in the shade Light Cool. I'm a big fan of the Ulta Beauty line so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. 
This concealer is by Fenty Beauty, the We're Even Concealer. Mine is in the shade 170C. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this too because this is fairly new and I really wanna see how well it works over time. So yes, this one I'm keeping as well. This is the Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken. This is a five-in-one concealer. Mine is in the shade 003 Cool Ivory. I'm going to declutter this because I just don't like it. So it's just gonna go away. This concealer is by Yensa. This is one of my favorite concealers. I absolutely love this concealer. Mine is in the shade Light One. This to me is the closest concealer I have that to me is creaseless. I have a new sample size of their foundation and I haven't used it yet, but I'm very, very excited to use this. So I'm going to pair those two together. So this is a definite keep. This is another concealer by Makeup Forever, the HD Skin. This is in the shade 1.2R. I'm gonna hold on to this as well, just because I really, really love this line of makeup. So this is gonna stay as well. Ooh, we've only got a few left. This is an eye brightener by Ulta Beauty. It's called the Under Eye Brightener. Well, that's all it's called is the Under Eye Brightener. It's light to medium. The shade is in light to medium. I'm actually gonna get rid of this because I just am not a fan of these under eye brighteners. So I'm just gonna let this one go away as well. This is a pot corrector by Revolution. I am going to go ahead and keep this. I really, really like this. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this. And this also is an eye brightener by NARS. This is the light reflecting eye brightener in the shade Night Swan. I've used quite a bit of this as well. I actually like this product by NARS. So this this I'm gonna hold on to as well. This is a corrector by Pixie. This is in the shade Peach. This is way, way too orange for me. Does nothing for me except paint my face orange even after I blend and blend. So this I'm not gonna hold on to. And last but not certainly least, this is by REM Beauty. This is a concealer corrector in the shade Light 3C. I enjoy this as well. I haven't used as much of this, but I am gonna keep this as well because when I have used it, I've really enjoyed it. So I think I just wanna keep it. So that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and count up how many I am putting in my declutter basket. I think this is quite a huge, huge dent, so I'm very, very happy with this. Let's go ahead and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's more concealers, which I actually thought it would be, than my foundations. 20 is a huge, huge dent in my collection, and I am very, very happy to get these out of my drawer because my drawers get a little bit full, and then I kind of don't know what to do with myself. So I am very happy to be parting with these. That's it for my concealer collection. Next up is going to be bronzers, and that one kind of scares me a little bit because I absolutely am obsessed with bronzers because they are so much fun. So stay tuned for that. I hope you're well wherever you are, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Music